Alex was a big roadblock to this challenge, not just because he didn't want to go to bed at nine o'clock, but also with this stupid joke that he kept doing. Alex keeps making this joke that's incredibly not funny and I'm gonna try and get it on camera. Like he came in tonight from work in the front door and he said, I can't kiss you. And I said, why not? And he said, because I'm not married to Kira. I'd be cheating on you. And I'm like, that isn't funny. Where's the funny? He's made that joke about a million fucking times, so it's just really with me off. That drove me nuts. Hi, my name is Claire and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I'm an Irish YouTuber living in Ireland. If you are not new here, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. If you're here and you're aware of me, I'm going to presume that you're aware of Kira O'Doherty, Irish content creator, extraordinaire, stone-faced, Iron Stomach Powerhouse over on the Try channel. Warning, flammable. Uh, <laughs> That's wrong. But did you know that alongside now two successful YouTube channels, she is fierce, active, and aspirational and inspirational over on Instagram. I find Kira's Instagram presence really like aspirational. She walks a lot. She seems to take really good care of herself. She does beauty stuff. And it got me thinking, how different are our routines. Say that 10 times fast. So I sent her a voice message and asked her, could I live her routine for a week? And not only did she say yes, but she also sent me the Kira manifesto. It's now half four in the evening. I've been back and forthing with Kira O'Darty all day in voice notes to try and get an idea of her daily routine. Before we get into it, I just want to say thank you to Kira O'Darty, obviously, for letting me do this because I think you're such a good sport to so let me live your routine for a week. And please subscribe to the channel and like this video if you like the video, etc, 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 blah, blah, blah. And also check out my merch, link down in the description. I don't wear my own merch enough. I sometimes feel like it's a bit weird to wear your own merch, but I actually love this design in particular. And I matched my makeup to it today. I don't know if you can tell or not. Anyway, the Kira Manifesto includes out of bed by 7 a.m., 7.30 if you like. Thanks, Kira. Good morning. This is amazing. I've never been up before, Millie. Quick check of urgent things, social email messages. Have a probiotic or vitamin drink first thing in the morning. No food, no tea, no nothing else. Stretch for 15 minutes. Oh, Christ. Before a hour long walk. Stupid question, but how do I know the walk's gonna be an hour long? You know what I mean? Like how do I know how far to go? If you get me. At 8 a.m. I just looked at my watch and was like, I can't have only been walking for nine minutes. It was 9 a.m. Not eating or drinking tea or coffee until 12 p.m. in the afternoon. Not eating after 8 p.m. in the evening. Being in bed by 9 p.m. and asleep by 10 or half 10. Those were the biggest changes from Claire's routine to Kira's routine. It included a lot of other things that I didn't really do like take vitamins. I was supposed to take vitamins with my breakfast. <laughs> I didn't do that, but I did now. I took CBD I think once in the week. I actually thought the CBD jellies were gross. So I just uh, forgot to take them after that. Morning and evening skincare routines. Here's my bag of stuff. <laughs> my skincare and my nails. Wearing sun cream, even in the winter, which I should have been doing. Why wasn't I doing that? Kira said that this was a non-negotiable, that she wears SPF 50 every day. I didn't follow Kira's diet or anything because Kira doesn't really have a strict diet and I don't make my own food. <laughs> it has been nice my food for me, so I just thought, fuck it, I'm <laughs> that's unnecessary extras. I did avoid coffee the whole week because Kira has been avoiding coffee. Kind of disappointing that the coffee cart isn't here at this hour. Kira wouldn't have coffee this early, do you know what? So it's actually, it's actually, it makes sense. I shouldn't be having coffee. That was ideal when I was so tired and getting up so early. I slipped in. Half eight. Fuck. Okay, it's ten to nine. Fuck. I'm only leaving now. In Kira's rules to live by, one of the things that she had was romanticise everything. And I loved that because I like to do that. And I definitely feel like the pandemic and just being in your 30s sort of ruins the romanticization of everything. Kira's really kind to herself, so I tried to be more kind to myself. I quite enjoyed that. After living like Kira for a week, what did I learn? 
Uh, the first and foremost, I absolutely love the way Kira structures her day. She starts off with like skincare, then a morning walk, so it's like a self-care section of her day, followed by admin, which is things like emails, pitching, invoices, etc. And then in the afternoon, she does her creative work, which is shoot and edit and create content. And I love that structure. Okay, so I filmed a reaction to me on Eating with the Enemy and I'll release that when my episode is live. Structure my day like that really worked for me and I'm hoping to keep that going going forward. I will say that getting up at seven or half seven was impossible for me. The earliest I got up any day of the week, even when I set my alarm to try and get up earlier, was quarter to eight. I just can't get up at half seven, I just don't Going to bed at 9 p.m. is possible, but it's a huge effort for me and it throws out everything else I wanna do in the day. The two days that I kept up my own personal running routine, I didn't get to bed anywhere near 9 p.m. It was just impossible. So my routine is kind of incompatible with Kira's, to be honest. Obviously, this is not part of Kira's routine, but it's part of my routine. I do have to keep up the running. When I get back from the run, I have to like get my food in before 8 p.m. because she eats. Fin she finishes eating before 8 p.m. I can go to bed by 9 o'clock, but it's not very likely. And it's not really something that Alex wants to do. And the evening time is the only time we get to spend together like not working and watch TV together. And I really value that time. So I think going to bed at 9 p.m. is just not feasible for me going forward. I do think that we could go to bed earlier. Alex has sent me downstairs to, to make cups of tea. His argument being that we would normally be drinking cups of tea at this time, Claire, and like now you have me in bed. So now I'm gonna bring up a cup of tea in bed. <laughs> and like I'm meant to be asleep by now. <laughs> this is not, not going well. Like I'm loving the early mornings that Kira has, but the early nights are just so difficult. I also love the walks in the morning. In terms of the books that Kira listens to on her walk, the self-help books, they're not for me. Okay, we get it, James. You have a lot of email subscribers. Can we get on with the content of the book, please? If he repeats his website one more time, I'm gonna lose it. So the first two chapters has just been him saying the same thing over and over again, which is if you make a 1% change now, you will reap the benefits later, which is very powerful, and I agree with it. And my mind is open, but I didn't need to hear it for seven thousand times. I only really needed to hear it once. But I really appreciate the gift of an audible book to listen to one, Kira. Thank you so much. Kira gifted me an audiobook of Atomic Habits so I could listen to it on the walk. I did really enjoy it. It did make me think about some of the habits that I've picked up and some of the associations that I've created that are possibly unnecessary. Okay, when I get home, I'm moving my desk to the other side of the room. But in general, I much prefer to listen to music or listen to one of my podcasts. I really loved Kira's skincare routine, doing skincare in the morning, you know, making sure to put on moisturizer and sun cream and serum. So I've just had my post-walk shower. Uh, where are here? Making sure to take off your makeup at the end of the day and use toner and use serum and all that sort of stuff. I l absolutely love doing that and I've kept that up. I've added all of those extra steps to my beauty regime. You know, maybe if I'd been doing this the last couple of years, I would look a little bit less tired all the time. But sure, listen Sherlock, you can't turn back time. The tea in the morning has crept back into my routine. I am still eating the probiotic in the morning. I am still eating the porridge with the apple juice. Yeah, you heard me. Yeah, I know, before you see it, it's not normal. Normal people don't eat porridge with apple juice, okay? My mom did, so I did, and I thought it was normal, and now I cannot have it with water or milk. I think those are disgusting. <laughs> Different strokes, okay? Ugh. What's wrong with my porridge? You have fucking apple juice in it. What's like, wrong with apple juice in your what, porridge? Like, what's right with apple juice in your porridge? I'm loving my new coat that I got for this video. I'm gonna go on there and I'm gonna buy a Kira O'Doherty coat. As I said to Kira, it would be so much more a Kira coat if it was in cream, but I needed to get it in baby pink, so I'd want to wear it after this challenge is over. But it is a Kira coat, but yeah, you have to imagine it in cream to be real Kira. So that's it there. Like, imagine Kira being like, oh my God, that's insane. We're like twins. Oh, I really do like this coat though. Why do they do this, right? They put pockets onto a woman's jacket, but then they sew it together. You have to do this. I don't know, I guess it sort of taught me that like maybe you can dress up sometimes for a reason. Like maybe I can put a pair of jeans on in quarantine, why not? I have way too much highlighter on, but whatever, who cares? Who am I trying to impress? I'm already married. Before we get going, I'm just thinking that 
I came out of the house in a very dogged up outfit I'd say all the neighbours think I'm cheating on Alex. So someone just knocked on my window and told me my petrol cap was open and said they'd close it for me and I just realised I'm dressed like this. Like, I just feel really uncomfortable now. Oh god, how embarrassing. He looked into the window and I was like, like fucking sex in the city here. <laughs> like this outfit's totally fine by itself but the glasses really just take it to wanker level. <laughs> I'm going to try and get a nice coffee photo here and then I'm going to try and get my outfit photo as well. Here is uh, people walking past and I have to wait till they walk away. This is so awkward. They're like looking at what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, that's horrendous. <laughs> Excuse me. So that took an hour and 15 minutes. I'm heading off now. Um, I could go for way longer because I still haven't got any decent photos really, I don't think, but uh, <laughs> that's, the best, that's the best I can do, this is the best I'm getting. The funniest thing about Irish people is they like, they kind of think that you can't see or hear them sometimes. So, like one woman walked past and she was like, she like hit her husband and she's like, of me taking the photo of myself and it's like I can hear you I can also see you and then oh, there was other people walking past like this <laughs> now I know that I'd probably look as well but it's just it makes it so embarrassing god you must have nerves to be able to do this all the time because you just ah oh, fair blade you here I don't know how you do it pros are I love this coat like I love 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 this coat I also realized it's not as cold during the day as I thought it was I can take the legs out in March I can take the legs out in March cons my feet are wrecked from walking around heels there for an hour straight god it's been so long since I put heels on that's about it I think for cons really I mean it was like embarrassing and all but like who gives a fuck you know what i'm saying like <laughs> i got some new pics that could be used as profile pics as well sure look it's been a great day so here's my version of the outfit which is a beanie hat and then the top with a body warmer over it seamless leggings on underneath it and ugg boots me and kira like that tiktok you know the one that's like i never seen two best friends with the same fashion aesthetic why one always gotta look like a soccer mom <laughs> I'm the soccer mom. That's me. It was really eye-opening to me. First of all, how glamorous I felt and how nice that felt because it's been so long. And also how visible I felt. I felt conspicuous. Does that make sense? So in comparison, I now understand how invisible I feel the way I dress. And I think that definitely has driven the way that I dress because I don't really like the feeling of feeling conspicuous. Like, it's totally different on a night out when you're like, yeah, I'm fucking hot, eat it. <laughs> like, I just don't want that on a Wednesday, you know what I'm saying? I just want to, like, just cruise. You get me? I don't know. I don't think I get me. I was exhausted by the end of this. Like, exhausted. So I'm here, and I'm ready to make a cocktail. And then I'm ready to watch an old film why am i crying <laughs> i am so tired getting up really really early going to bed really really early is just not a long-term feasible choice for me considering the husband that i chose and the fact that i actually do want to spend some time with him so we're actually eating at half nine i just realized so i was meant to be in bed half an hour ago you ready to go straight to bed after this food Alex? No. <laughs> alex is not on board <laughs> Uh, do you want to just come to, come to bed and watch Superstore in bed with me for an hour? An hour. An hour. It's, I'm already tell half an hour past my bedtime. Tell the camera an hour ago. Do it right now. <laughs> no, I don't. I never manage the two walks a day. Not once. I can absolutely spare an hour in the morning to go walk, but can't also do an hour in the evening. No way. No, can't do it. Sorry. <laughs> ah, the beauty of Ireland. Isn't it just breathtaking? <laughs> Where would you get it anywhere like it? Huh? 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 Look over here. God, oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> I hate baths. And that was a real realisation for me. I thought I just didn't take baths because I didn't have time or because it was a lot of effort. Um, but actually, 
I hate them. And then I'm also gonna do a self-care bath. Self-care bath slash new moon ritual. Even though this week is not the new moon. But like if I hadn't told you that, you never would know. <laughs> it, it, this week is the new moon. <laughs> what are you talking about? Before you comment and say, why are you wearing a swimsuit in the bath? Like, I'm not going to put a video on myself on the internet. Naked. <laughs> What's happening? She said it can be a cocktail if you want to, but now I thought if you want to, I opted for a blue double kitty. Then I also made popcorn, because again, that's my thing. This is so uncomfortable. Really wish I'd gotten <laughs> a bath table. My eating with the enemy F was very worried, came out really well. So we're going to do the new moon ritual, part of which is to Write something down that's been bothering me on a piece of paper and then set fire to it. And now there's a reason I didn't get one because I was doing this because he would not be appreciative of it. This is so dangerous. It stresses me out big time. Now my bath is filled with ash. Okay, I'm just going to put this out because this is dangerous. Don't do this at home, kids. I just think I'm not a bath girl. I haven't been in this bath. We've lived in the house that has now six years and I haven't gotten out of bath once. I don't think this is the first time. It smells like burning. I'm also absolutely shite at making cocktails because I'm just not interested in putting the effort in um, or spending the money to get the proper tools. So I don't even have the right glasses. <sighs> Go on, try it. So, so way too strong. It's like just pure whiskey. What? No, Other it's got whiskey? elderflower in it. Like not enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna kick you. It's not that bad. It needs more mixer. Put like, some water in it then. It needs a lot more mixer. Put some of this in. Then it's not an old fashioned. Yeah. Is it flat? <laughs> You're such a drama queen. It doesn't matter oh, no, if it's flat. Oh, taste that. I don't like ginger ale anyways. I'm not going to like oh, it. Oh, taste that. It's like ginger syrup. The whole point of the old fashioned was that it had a spoon of sugar in it. I know you're not meant to need it with the elderflower, but. Fuck it. That's not bad, that's not bad. I think my eyes might be blurry. We gave up on the film, which was shy. And then I gave up on the cocktail because it was gross. Actually, I drank the first one, then tried to make the second one. The second one was even worse. Now we're going to bed, I'm going to watch Superstore in bed. So I give up, I'm done. So yeah, I had a really, really good time living like here for a week. I'm definitely going to try and take some of this into my routine going forward. Still copying how she structures the day because I just think it is genius. Hope you like this video and if you do, please subscribe, give the video a like. Please consider supporting the channel on Patreon. It's how I keep these shenanigans going. Also check out Kira O'Darty, obviously. So our links are down in the description to Kira's Instagram and Kira's two YouTube channels. If you like this video, you might like the video where Kira and I do truth or drink together. Or you might like the extended cut on my Patreon. Please subscribe to the channel. Please check out Kira and yeah, let me know if you think you could have survived. Kira's schedule for a week because I don't think you could have. <laughs> I barely did. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Swan, swan.